This old guy DIY video has to do with some observations I made while visiting the Saks Zimbog near Duluth, Minnesota. A friend who's an avid wildlife photographer invited me to go with him to see some great gray owls. And while we were there, we observed stuff like this. That wooden structure on the right is a feeding station that the state put in to attract the chickadees and songbirds and red squirrels and gray squirrels, which then attracts the marten and the owls. So the well-dressed people you see on the left are apparently taking pictures of a red squirrel or chickadees or some of the blue jays and magpies that may have been flying around. Well, there I learned that people come from all over the world to Saks Zim, and it seems everyone there is happy to be there. They're finding what they were looking for. The people are very pleasant at the visitor center, and overall it was a really good experience. We did see the great gray owls we were looking for. In addition, we saw bald eagles, lots of grouse, some snowshoe hares, and other neat stuff. This is a shot through the windshield that shows what it looks like when a great gray owl has been spotted, it's much like seeing a grizzly at Yellowstone. There are probably 30 big cameras out there with big glass, probably worth $20,000 a piece. Lots of iPhones and Minolta single shots. But everybody had the tool they were happy with, and when a bird is spotted, word goes out via text, and the herd comes running. This is a picture through the windshield of my buddy as he's approaching a great gray owl on Admiral Road. And we learned that in the morning, at just at first light, and again in the evening, uh, just before dark, these birds are pretty predictable coming out to the tops of the trees, and then you'll see them working their way along the road, hunting for rodents. And it's just amazing to have those things fly just a few feet above you, and there's absolutely no sound. And they're just really cool looking birds. I'm glad I was invited to go. These are some of the pictures my buddy took. So we have the great gray owl, you have some of the bald eagle. We have a couple that are kind of fuzzy of a wolf that had come out into the edge of a field and grabbed a deer carcass and was dragging the carcass back into the woods. My buddy had just been taking some pictures of a bald eagle 30 seconds before, so the autofocus wasn't set to pick up the wolf. But there we have confirmation of activity, although it's not something that'll be on the front of an outdoor magazine. He also had some pictures of grouse a snowshoe hare, a little squirrel, and that kind of rounded out our trip. Thank you for watching, and if you get a chance to go to Saks Zim Bog near Duluth, Minnesota, I suggest you take it. Headed home from the bog, we saw some great gray owls, now the state patrol doesn't like my tent.